Today I'm going to show you how to do a fuel system cleaning on a vehicle. Mine is a Saturn, so let's get started. Now the first thing I have here is I have taken apart the brake booster. Pretty much just take this hose off, pull this thing off here. This is going to be different for every, every vehicle, so um, I wouldn't be worried about it. Um, and what I have here is a connector, a barb connector from the local hardware store. I've got this piece of tubing, all this stuff here you can find at a local hardware store. It's kind of like a jerry-rigged siphon system. So uh, this will be the first part, run it in so it cleans off a few rails and everything. Um, so what we're going to do here real quick is I've got our fuel system cleaning stuff. Just using the regular sea foam, whatever one is saying, you can choose your own poison. So. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some stuff into the uh, <clears throat> into the gas. So give me just a second. It's really recommended to use the entire bottle. You probably want to use uh, a third of it for to put in the gas, a third of it to run through the engine itself, and then the third to put into the into the oil so it cleans out the inside, the lower end of the engine. So what I'm going to do is I got this. It's a mason jar, standard mason jar, full about a third of the cool or of the uh, <clears throat> cleaner. So just put it into where you put in the gas. Now putting in the gas will clean off the, the fuel injectors and the fuel lines. We're gonna run a little bit. I'm not gonna put it into the oil today. I just wanna run it through the fuel system. So what I've done is punched a, punched a hole in the cap and I'm just gonna stick this siphon piece in here. Now you don't wanna start this while the, you don't wanna start the engine while the needle valve is open so you just want to make sure it's completely closed so it gets that so it makes sure that the uh, so it doesn't uh, stall out your engine Give me just a second here and you also want to make sure that your engine's warm when you do this let me go ahead and tape that up and now basically what I've done is built a siphon system on this so what it's going to do is it's going to take it through this through the cap punched a hole through the cap of, this, of the can and you just slowly open this up so it's got a steady stream, not too much. Usually, the instructions actually say to pour it into the brake, the brake line. Unfortunately, you don't want to do that or else you might hyper, hydro lock your engine. So, or vapor lock, I'm sorry. It's vapor lock your engine. So, give me just a second. I'm going to start up my engine and we'll get started. sit for five minutes. And another piece after doing the uh, upper fuel system is actually the throttle body which is this right here. Inside it is a butterfly valve. As you can see there's a lot of buildup on there. 
There's also, when I flip this up, let's see, I'll pull some out here. Oh. And it's not that, not that much. But if it's never been done before, that right there is a lot of carbon buildup on the inside of that. You want to clean that out as well so there's a clean flow through of air. So you can actually take some of that sea foam cleaner, um, put it on like a cloth, or if you have a swab or something, you can put the swab in there too. Just get it damp and swab it down real good. <clears throat> As you can see, it's actually getting it pretty good. Let me zoom in here. Yeah. Let me get some of that a little bit off there. Uh, you see all that? That's just one quick swab. Let's see. Yeah, all that is all that build up. You want to get that out of there too? And after doing that, you want to drive it for a little while. Just get the rest of that stuff out of there, so I'll finish cleaning it out. So your engine is actually finished cleaning up. Looks like it's still going to be blowing this stuff for a little while. So I'm going to shut it off because I'm in a garage. Not a good idea. You actually want to do that out in the driveway. So hope this helps. Uh, the one main thing I forgot to show you all is actually pretty important. see right there you want to reattach that or else you won't have brakes so um, hopefully this helps you all I'll catch you all later